Hey guys, before we get things rolling, um, I just wanted to let you know that we're doing a bit of a promotion with the folks here at uh, Flock Designs. They uh, make this fun little puffy shirt as, uh, as well as a bunch of other stuff. They got mugs and stuff like that. So if you order with the promo code POPCORN15, you get 15% off. And uh, then we get a little piece of that. It helps uh, support the show. So um, yeah, that'd be great. I'll throw their info down in the show notes and um, enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome to Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. I'm Peter. And I'm Frank. How's it going everybody? Hey, um, I'm going to ask you a question, but um, like and subscribe and share and all that really, really cool stuff. Uh, check out the podcast. That's all I have to say about that. Hey, so for the end of this thing, I want you to think about uh, genres that you think are played out or done or we could take a break from, you know, oh, okay. that kind of thing. Sure, sure. So, um, gotcha. Yeah. So, who are we doing today? All righty. Today, our feature actor is Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Who is a classic. When oh we, yeah. When, God, when, yeah. We, when we pulled him out of the head, I was, I was like, like yes, "Wow, we got a, we got Great. a classic." Um, yeah, he's fantastic. Um, I'm gonna start because uh, I'm just do. gonna start with who uh, sent of a woman. Okay. That is uh, that is one of mine. Um, I I really like that movie a lot. I like that movie a lot because of how uncomfortable he makes Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Feel. Yeah. It is so great, um, and it's it's interesting to see uh, Al Pacino play kind of he's he's strong and he's out there, but he's also super vulnerable. And I can't think of another Al Pacino movie where he's kind of vulnerable like that. Maybe parts of like Frankie and Johnny, but um, oh, okay. but uh, he, you don't see him, it, nothing comes to mind at least for me. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, 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 I love that movie. I love him in it. He's a, he's a lot of fun. And you know that they just said, you know what, Al, just, yeah, just have a good time it. with it. Yeah. And um, and there are some actors out there that you're just like, yeah, you love when when they get that sort of freedom to do that. Um, I meant to look, and I don't, and I never got a chance. I really wonder if anybody out there knows, was the hoo was that like him, or was it a direction, oh, or was know. that just him like, you know, okay, you know, he... And he did it, he, and they said, keep it! Yeah, and he just, you know, exclaims enthusiastically, like, what What right. does he do? So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's, my, um, that's my first one. My next one is going to be um, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Oh, very Love good. Love that. There is not... That was high on my list. Uh, yeah, there is... Um, there is... It was... See, it was, it was weird, because, like... The Godfather's next, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah. So it was a toss-up for me between like Glengarry Glenn Ross and Heat, but like Glengarry Glenn Ross is a much fuller performance. There's more of him in that, whereas exactly. in Heat, exactly. I think that he it's like that one scene with him and yeah. De Niro yeah. that. Like that whole movie comes up. Like I'll watch that movie up until that scene. I'm just like, yeah, all right, I'm done now. You know. I'm all set because I know where it's going to go and all that. But that, yeah. that the build up to that scene, that scene is so intense. But I'm going to go Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross because yeah, that was number four on my list. He's actually. really fun, and it's you know it's David Mamet and Al Pacino and some and, great, oh my God. great characters. Their personalities, the way they're, they're yeah, written. yeah. That just it feels like really real, That's you know. Right. Um, just That's the right. the whole movie and his character Tony Roma is just yeah. like. Like, just that guy who's just, you know, like, look, I'm not screwing around. I'm good at what I do, and uh, I'm just going to do what I do. And the I, rest of you clowns I are... I like the fact, too, like, because it was a play and then made into a movie. Yeah. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, you can tell it's just a play that they made it into a movie. But I like the fact it's it comes across that way because you feel sometimes boxed oh, in, yeah. closed in, and, and how constricted. Because, else... like, the, some of those characters... Feel very constricted. Yeah, but how else do you no, yeah, do exactly. that? I mean, it's a play. Yeah, it's 
So it's this it's yeah. very much dialogue driven. There's exactly. not a lot of like visual storytelling yeah. in that. Yeah. Um, except like, you know, body lemon body body lemon. Body, 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 body language. Lemon, but, uh, Jack language. But exactly. <laughs> um, so and then my next one, of course, is um, Godfather. Yeah. So um, he's just he's just the epitome of control and power and you just know that he just gets sucked right back in. Um, I just, I don't blame him for Godfather 3. No. I just, well, I don't blame just him. He should have said, no, I'm not oh, doing Oh, he should this. have said, no, yeah, you know? of course. But, but um, no, but no, and specific, like yeah. Godfather 2, specifically. I think he is just pure genius in that. He's, he's, he's strong and he's commanding and He's just firing on all cylinders. He's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. He just I, kills. I, I'm gonna. That's, so I'm gonna yeah, that go one's ahead. obviously one of my picks. Right. Michael Corleone as in Godfather and then Godfather Two. Um, amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's the youngest son in the family. We all know the story, and he's the one who's gonna. Um, and there are times where he can be. He can just be so driven, as you said, that it's beyond ruthless. He's able to just close doors, close himself off, yeah. and just take people out, people who we've already seen, yeah. who he's who are very close to. He has no trouble, just like at, at different points, shutting off his sister, that lady she comes Right. What I mean is, these times are just you're dead to me, Connie. You're done. And then, it, and right. poor Fredo, oh, I give him a little Fredo. kiss. Yeah. And you're like, oh no, Fredo's gonna get it. I, I yeah, believe. Fredo's Fredo. But yeah. still, he's less like, mm, man, when, what when, I... when uh, he's loyal, he can be pretty much loyal. Oh, yeah. When he's, when he's like pissed off and has to, in his own. Mind have to has to write Bring around down the hammer. He does. Mm, yeah. no. he's great. He's yeah. unbelievable. And 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 what's good is you do see a transition, right? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, earlier in the first movie, where yeah, he just trying to be a dutiful son, yeah. do the right thing. He's got a little position, and then all of a sudden he's got he's to step just, it up, yeah, and then and then he's dealing with having to. You know, go to Sicily, and you see him kind of. But when he comes back, he's got all the yeah. ducks in a row, and then he just, you know, yeah. and his way of dealing with stuff with his wife, yeah. so everything oh is just God. so good. So that Michael Corleone character, yeah. what else tremendous. Um, what else do I have? A little after, a little after Godfather Part Two was uh, Dog Day Afternoon, and that one. Oh yeah, he's sunny in that one, and. Uh, so that would be uh, second yeah, he's, for me. He's so intense. He's he's Especially intense, in the but 70s. he's 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 got like this this lovable loser enthusiasm. They're complete amateurs, and they know it. Yeah, they just figure, oh, we've cased it out a little bit. We know how this is going to work, and we should have no trouble robbing a bank. Yeah, he was. He's one of those actors who's like he's like. The right actor for the right time, like that gritty kind of like it was, city, yeah. New York City. It was tremendous in uh, Serpico, stuff. which didn't yeah. make my list, but it's you know, way up there. But he's got that intensity. Yeah, of, uh, cruising was yeah. another one. Uh, it, you know, there's some movies, but uh, that, that uh, Dog Day Afternoon. If you never seen it, just go see that one. Sometimes that one can fall through the cracks because um, you kind of that same time period. Really yeah, to the Godfather uh, stuff, but um, yeah, that, uh, that is a that is a good one. On the afternoon, he's tremendous in that one, and uh, it's like I said, he's just like this lovable loser. He's optimistic though, yeah. and he thinks it's going to work out, and nothing is going right, and he's still kind of. I mean, he sweats a lot. Yeah. He's nervous. He's got ticks, and he's like, you know, he's just trying to. It's it's wonderful, great performance, and. Um, uh, you said uh, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross was way up there. Is more uh, another one a Shakespearean uh, Shakespeare one? Um, Merchant of Venice. Yeah, it's very good in that one. I 
love them a lot in that so one. So what's your third? This is my third one is fairly small role, but it's an important role, and he does it so well. Dick Tracy, right? No. <laughs> Although I don't mind him at all in no, Dick Tracy. It's, it's just everybody. When like, he that. goes over the top because he's allowed to go over yeah. the top. It kind of reminded me almost of Scent of a Woman in yeah. Dick Tracy and Scarface because he's able to just go, just go overboard. Right. Okay, yeah, I'll exactly. do it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Scarface was for it. Yeah, so uh, for me, but it's that safe. small, it's that small little role of um, Mar uh, Marvin Schwartz in uh, Once yeah. Upon a Once Time upon in time Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. I really enjoy how he's in this movie. He's got a couple scenes, and. Uh, He's he's just he's he's wonderful. He's great like, in it, but it's also Marmy. He's more of a fanboy in a certain way, but he's also given very good advice. He knows right what's going to happen, what is most likely going to happen to Rick Dalton, the Leonardo, if he doesn't take a chance and go to Italy. And but do what gets me thing. what gets me about that is it kind of takes me out of it. It's like, oh, hey, Al Pacino's oh, really? in this, too. I, I, I find yeah. him so calming and soothing that he doesn't take me. Yeah. Because no, of his speech pattern. Stunty. I, because I, cause Tarantino, that's not like his... No. It's not, not his normal his family. Usual, like, his normal like, troop yeah. of actors. So, because you could have very easily put in... Ah, man. Who could you, who else could you have put in? Yeah, you could have put I know in, what you mean. What, one of somebody yeah, he's used somebody before. he's used before. You could have yeah, put yeah. in, like, Steve Buscemi. That would have been great. Yeah, but so. there's something, though, about his, his age and, and how he's, like, folksy almost. How he'll just say, Miss Schwarz well, yeah. and I, we yeah, watched yeah, the yeah. movies I mean, last night. Yeah, and, just, and, and he really knows. I love the fact that he knows his, his entire filmography. Like, well, he knows yeah. everything. He's doing his homework. Yeah, but you also get the feeling that he really does love his work. Even, like, silly, oh, it's so Ian Man or whatever it was, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were in... You know what I mean, that sort of thing. Uh, and, yeah. oh, we put it... You, we had you gone last night. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the see, that just... Of, it didn't... Oh, see, I love it because... I mean, I love... I mean, I like the character, but I just... I was just like, oh, look, it's Al Pacino. Whereas uh, see, nobody think, else, yeah. that that sort of, it sort of took me. Okay. He was fine. And he didn't. He was that, fine. Yeah. It was. It was. It did what it was supposed to do, yeah. and he was a perfectly fine character. But I just, it just sort of yeah, leaked okay. out. You know. He didn't. I don't know. It didn't bother me at all. Yeah. I, I felt so, the other way. Like it was like your uncle just trying to give you good advice yeah. without being heavy-handed, and I never thought of. It's Al Pacino yes. any more than, oh, he's talking to Leonardo. Like, I don't, yeah. you know, I really was buying yeah. the characters. Um, so, yeah, I, I love that one. Um, it, it, it also makes you wonder how, how much part of uh, pop culture is Al Pacino. Because then I started thinking, remember in uh, Tropic Thunder, one of the characters, his uh, name, because he's a rap artist, actor is Al Pacino. Yeah. And I just love that. Al Pacino. Yeah, I love puns. Anyway, I had a question. You did have a question. Genres that are played out. What do okay. You think? Um, I, what made me think of it is we're, we're talking about Al Pacino, who's just like quintessential, like he's in all the gangster movies. And, um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you know, just, just, so yeah. I'm just going to launch it. No, go ahead. So... Um, it made me think, are those kind of mafia movies sort of like played out kind of thing? The Goodfellas. There's the, a lot. I mean, that's, that's the thing. It's just done. like. It's been done very well. But that's the thing. I but think as, Scor as Scorsese and De Niro and Al Pacino yeah. kind of age out of it. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and um, Joe Pesci sort of, they all age out of it. Like that Hoffa movie, which was great. But it was also super long, and it was just sort of like, yeah, all right. Um, I just, I, it made me think about genres that might be played out. So that one could be. So and, and, you, and then, well, you, after a while, yeah. everything just starts to be. It'll like, come back. Like again. a stereotype. Yeah. Cowboy and movies like a have not. Parody of itself sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? But cowboy movies haven't really come back. Westerns have. No, really but come it's back. interesting though how many things use the western um, method. Yeah, I mean, the like, thing, the, the like tropes, the whole, like, 
Mandalorian yeah, is all oh, basically exactly, just yeah. a Western. Right. And so many, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I don't know if anyone has really been played out because they always seem to come back. Yeah. Whether it's like Westerns sometimes come back. They, they kind of have a longer, you know, nascent period. Yeah, it, I don't know. It but so, seemed for a while that like romantic comedies, like you didn't see those as much. I think they're, you know, doing a lot of streaming. You see them on like Netflix and yes, stuff like yeah, that. But yeah. that think, used to be like... I think good comedies don't see... We don't, I don't well, know. No, not, good, really no, not but like romantic comedies yeah. specifically. Yeah, romantic comedies, but even like, um, uh, we don't talk too much about it, um, you know, horror, slasher, those kind of come back, or they get rebooted like a series. Yeah, oh, but I think that those game. are because they're money makers. Yes, yeah, you know? yeah. So, um, I mean, they just remade Candyman, it made a ton of money, came yeah. number one at the box yeah. office. And yeah, um, it, it's, everything comes back though, so even when they seem to be out of vogue, Everything seems to come back at some point. Um, comic book movies have had a good comic run. book, but there was a time where I thought that oh, they yeah. were done. Yeah, I said, "Oh, this isn't yeah. real. We've, it's we've... not working out." And and then it was. Yeah, the MCU. Well, started, the MCU, they just sort of like they invented a whole thing. So they started yeah. working. Yeah. yeah. Um, si silent movies might be the only thing we don't see. Yeah, too that's true. Enough. That's true. So <laughs> that, that Unless, might be about it. Maybe that's the movie. Oh, that's the movie uh, I need to write. The mime murders. Um, uh, slapstick is something that's nobody wants that kind of humor so much. Anymore. Yeah, you don't like get a lot of Stooges dumb and dumber kind of stuff. Yeah, you don't get that. Yeah, too you much. don't. That's yeah. yeah, and that's a hard sell. Yeah, it is. That one. Yeah. So let's do. Uh, let's do. A yeah, let's try up and see what we got. All right. Hey, folks, just a reminder to uh, like and subscribe if you would yeah. and check out the podcast. And uh, oh, this will be good. There you go. All right. Yes. All right. Yep, yep. Yes, we will do that. Yes, right. we will. Hey, and everybody, we'll uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for uh, checking out the merch and um, all that stuff. So uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.